After a fan manga in which Muzon gained the powers of all the upper moons and was reincarnated in the world. In this story, we see Muzon and Lady Tamayo together in the afterlife, and the author of the original Demon Slayer story is portrayed as a god who gave Muzon a new life. The catch in his rebirth was quite funny, actually, because he was sent into the world at the time when he first encountered Yoriichi. Lady Tamayo was also reincarnated but five years before him, so she not only lifted Muzon's curse, but also prepared an insane poison, which she injected into Muzon's body. At the same time, Yoriichi confronts him, and when Muzon sees him again, he starts begging for mercy, claiming he will use his powers to help humans. However, Tamayo warns Yoriichi not to trust him, stating that he is lying. When Muzon realizes that he cannot manipulate Yoriichi, he attacks him. During the fight, Muzon uses Kokushibo's sword and discovers that he has the powers of all the upper moons. The battle continues, and even though Muzon gives Yoriichi a good fight, Yoriichi reveals that he is fighting seriously for the first time and ultimately kills Muzon. In this story, Muzon's death saves many important lives. Fei manga name is Kiputsuji Muzon's new game.